doing another London vlog. This is two in a row. It went from doing absolutely none at all to like suddenly I want to vlog in London. I'm not ashamed to show you my everyday life because I felt like before I said in my other vlog I thought it was boring but actually it was really fun to vlog and I did a lot of fun things last week. This week I'm not doing as much. I'm doing a couple things here and there. So I'm going to show you those. Why am I so out of breath? All I've done is just speak to the camera for two seconds and I'm like oh my god I feel like I just run a marathon. I don't know what just happened there but yeah i'm gonna vlog for you guys i have a really cool shoot that i'm gonna film and i'm going to my boyfriends and i think i'm doing stuff this weekend but it depends like how long the vlog gets up to whether or not i will vlog the weekend because i'm going back to see my family and we're gonna be doing some cutesy family wholesome stuff which i haven't done in a while and i really miss my family i miss my sisters and my dad and my dog and everyone so yeah i do want to go back and see them but for now, tonight I'm going to my boyfriend's house. It's like whenever my life is like chill for two seconds, I'm like, what can I do to fill up my time? Like, I feel like my body doesn't know how to react when I don't have anything to do. Like, I still have stuff to do, but I love being on the move and like having to do stuff on the move. I just think I just love stressing myself out. Like, I think I'm so used to stress that when I'm not stressed, I'm like, what's happening? Like, my life has become boring. Like, I'm turning into an elderly woman. Like, I need stress. It's so bad. It's the modern day, isn't it? Also, this video is kindly sponsored by Skin and Me. I'm going to be doing my little skincare routine tomorrow morning and show you guys. It's kind of going to be better doing it at my boyfriend's house because he has a nice bathroom. My bathroom, the lighting is like bright yellow. It's not cute at all. I'm going to book... Oh, he's so happy. Oh. Oh. Try to get to the train early. It says it's going to be busy. Where does it say that? It says, due to being formed of fewer carriages, the service is expected to be very busy. I literally hate this train. Like, I've been on this train so much, and I hate it. Wait, I'm going to go early so I can try to get a seat, but am I ever going to be early? No. Like, I'm going to arrive two seconds before the doors close. Like, that's what always happens. Okay, let me try be early. I could drive, but the traffic is not worth it. I have real bad anxiety over trains. I don't know what it is. Like, I had this so bad when I used to live at home and have to, like, commute into London because I lived a little bit further out of London. And I would have full-blown panic attacks to the point where, like, I couldn't get on the train because it was so bad because i get so fixated on, like, timings or missing the train or if the train was going to be busy. So for me, like, the fact that I know this train is going to be packed to the brim, like, this is something that my younger self would have been like, oh, my God, I can't. You can't even go cancel my plans but i'm doing it like i have conquered my fears i mean i'm still gonna be like anxious like i can feel it in my chest but it's fine like what is the worst that's gonna happen touch wood <laughs> don't want to jinx that but yeah i'm gonna go i'm currently trying to dry out this spot so that when i do my skincare routine i'm gonna be slaying but like guys look at my skin oh, it's the best it's ever been it's so good show you my skincare as i promised so this video is kindly sponsored by skin and me i know i've talked about them quite a lot before my youtube channel but i'm here to talk about them again and update you guys on what i'm using skin and me is so good you have an online consultation and then a personalized treatment plan with formulations that you won't find on the high street it's all made to order and your formulation is created specifically for you and your skin goals so my personal skin goals are i want to reduce scarring i have some scars here and also on my forehead and just generally reducing acne and breakouts. This just means less trial and error, less product wasted, and I'm putting all my trust in the dermatology team because I have no idea what ingredients and stuff I need for my skin, but they know everything. So I'm like, you can just, you can deal with it and just send it to me every month. You don't have to worry if you're gonna run out and having to go get a new one. They just get rid of that hassle for you. And you can cancel, pause, or resume at any time you want. It's also fully recyclable packaging and vegan and cruelty-free formulations. So yeah, make sure to take a look at Skin and Me and use my code LoveEV and you can get your first daily dose up for only $4.99, which that is such a good price, guys.
Okay, now I'm getting ready to go. I'm just putting my hair up because it is fucking greasy, like so greasy. I don't think I've washed my hair for like a week. I'm just gonna slick it back. Like, look at that. I don't even need any gel. It's just straight back. It's perfect. Oh my god. Oh yeah. I'm gonna just do a little plait in here. I've got PT now, so I'm going to that. I don't know how much of that I'm gonna film because I always forget to film at the gym. I just get too embarrassed. I think it's like 8 a.m. right now. So we're up and out. Are we done? Yeah, I've done deodorant. <laughs> I'm just sniffing my pits to check. I'm gonna put on my cozy jumper. I'm really hoping this train right now is not busy. I hate getting trains so much, but yeah. This jumper is so cozy, I love it. I also like barely brought any stuff with me because I only came for one night. So I just need to quickly pack up my bag. I'm not wearing my gym stuff right now. I think I'm just gonna change up the gym because it's like low-key not comfortable at all. And like it's little shorts, so I'd have to put them under my joggers, which just isn't that fun. Okay, I'm off. <laughs> my shreddies are gonna go flying. Hey guys, so it is a little bit later now. It's three o'clock. I've not really done much today. I actually had a lot to do and I was set out to film at like one, but instead I literally lied in bed and just cried. So my day was not very productive, but I'm trying to be gentle with myself and like not get annoyed at myself over that. Also, I just washed my bangs with shampoo and conditioner, so that's why they're wet. They're not greasy right now. I'm doing a slick back hair, but I wanted my bangs to be fresh. The thing is, like, it's really hard to motivate yourself when you are, like, self-employed. Because I could obviously do nothing with my day, or I could do a lot more with my day. It's, like, completely up to me. Like, there's no one here telling me, like, you need to do this by this time. Or you need to be, I don't know, filming this at this time. It's all self-motivation, which I'm, like, fine with most of the time. But on some days where I feel sad, I just can't motivate myself to do it like at all and this was one of those days so yeah because i'm so busy like i find it frustrating when i have a day like this that i have time to fill my reels that i just do organically and that i just do for fun i do on days i have free and this is my free day i had like three hours to do them and i did none which is annoying me because i know next week i have no free days whatsoever i'm doing stuff every single day like back to back I can't do them next week, so this is my only day that I gave myself to do it, and in my eyes, it. But I obviously didn't. I still have time, like, I'm probably gonna be able to start filming at like 3.40, which is late. <sighs> Fuck, I'm frustrated with myself. This is what I have to do, I have to find peace of mind. <laughs> I gotta find peace of mind. <laughs> okay, this is my finished makeup. I feel better. Like, 5% better, which is a lot better than how I felt before. The sun's come out a little bit now, so I'm gonna crack on and film before I start bloody crying again. I'm also gonna film mm -hmm, unboxing my Steve Madden shoes. But secret, I've already unboxed them. But I put them back in the box, and I'm gonna pretend for the sake of the fact that I was meant to do an unboxing of them, but I forgot because they are insane and I want to do it so bad. So if you see that, Let's pretend that I've never seen them in my life before. I'm a little actor. <laughs> you gotta act up for the video sometimes, guys. I actually used to be on the Disney Channel, so if you remember me from that, I'm an actor. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put some clothes on and get my ass up and work, because I'm in a slump. I really wanna order Starbucks. Like, I could so just cycle there right now, but the convenience of having someone else cycle here and bring it to my door, I'm so tempted and I'm like, oh, I'm sad. Like, should I just do that? I'm sad every day. That's my excuse every day for ordering food. Like, oh my God, I'm sad. I feel so bad for myself. Let me order some food to make myself better. No, I feel worse because then I have no money because I spent all my money on delivery. So I need to keep my money so I can pay my rent 
and then less stress. Watch me have a Starbucks in my hand in the next clip. Guys, I caved. I wasn't going to. And then I just thought it'd be a funny transition, me saying, I'm not gonna get one, so that's my excuse today why I got a Starbucks. Cheers. I'm in the exact same position that I was in when I filmed earlier with my Starbucks, but I'm filming right now. It's currently seven o'clock. Wait, what? It's seven o'clock. Um, I've got my new boots on though. These are from Steve Madden. I am obsessed with them. Like, guys, I can't even comprehend how much I love these boots. Like, they are just so perfect. I think I'm just gonna do two more and then I'm gonna go make dinner and I'll obviously take you guys along with me, show you what I'm doing. I think I'm gonna do beef burgers. Burgers? Just me here. <laughs> I imagine like I've got people coming over. I'm gonna do beef burgers for my little finanza. No, just me. I'm home alone again. So just me, me, myself and I having my beef burger. Yeah, I need to do this last TikTok. This is the audio. So cool. <laughs> Yes, yes, I, I am, am bitch. Also, this dress is from Princess Polly. I got so many questions. I wore it out the other night and it's Princess Polly. I told everyone on the night out that it was Motel Rocks because I was so convinced. And then Emily checked my tag because she was like, are you sure that's Motel Rocks? Like, I haven't seen that on Motel. And it was Princess Polly. So I lied to everyone that, but I had no, I didn't know any better. <laughs> it was an instant lie. I just finished filming. It's 7.39. Like, why did I leave it so late? I don't know. It's now late and i've got to make dinner i just realized like i never make eye contact with the camera like is this really intense i don't know like is that too much now i don't even know where to look because i don't want to look up but i don't want to look here like hey anyway yeah it's 7 39 i'm gonna go make dinner i think i'm gonna make beef burgers i want to go on a walk because like i've done nothing today it feels like so i don't know whether or not i should do that or if i should just not do that like, should I put my burgers in and then go on a walk? Is that really bad? Is that dangerous? I'm gonna put my boyfriend's stuff on because I miss him so much. Oh my God, I literally wanna cry myself to sleep right now because I miss my boyfriend so much. I cannot function without thinking about my boyfriend every second of the day. Oh yeah, Ocean Pacific. <laughs> this actually smells like him. And like, <laughs> it's kind of making me sad. Oh my God, it's been a fucking half a day. It's been half a day. Like, I need to get a grip. I'm obsessed. <laughs> Guys, I actually am. Like, it's kind of concerning. Like, I am obsessed with my boyfriend. No, it's not concerning. It's good. But, yeah. Burger time! Let's get these bitches out of the oven. Ooh, my camera's gone misty. Our oven needs a deep clean. Okay, make sure I turn this off because I always leave the oven on. I feel like I kind of made it seem like this was some homemade burger that I've made from like beef mints. No, I literally just bought it from Tesco's and put it in the oven. So I take no credit for this burger. I kind of burnt it a little bit, I think. That's a shame. Mmm, creepy. I'm gonna add some lettuce. Liv, if you're watching this, I'm not using a mayo, even though I'm pretty sure she uses my ketchup. Because I, don't get me wrong, I do consume a lot of ketchup, but I think there's a little ketchup monster in the house because it's going down a lot quicker than it normally does. So, Liv, if you're watching this, fess up. <laughs> Joke, she might actually not be, but like she doesn't have ketchup and like everyone needs ketchup. So she must be getting it from my bottle. That is the truth. That is the tea. That is the real tea here. Also, my neighbors are so loud. Like I feel like it was about to fly through the ceiling. Like my neighbor almost just lands on my beef burger because he jumps. Like I know they're kids and like have fun, do your thing. Like, but oh my God, they are bouncing about up there. Like jumping so loud. I don't even know if you can hear it in the vlog. Probably not because I'm chattering away, but it's very, very loud. I'm kind of annoying, but can't complain. Yummy, yummy, yummy. This is my dinner. That posh girl on TikTok would be crying right now if she was watching this because it's giving processed food. I'm gonna put the cancelled podcast on my phone and then watch it. Like I could put it on the TV, but I can't be bothered to get up and turn the TV on. So it's going on my phone. There's a new episode. I'm obsessed with the cancelled podcast. Always have been, always will be, I love it. Hey guys, I can't remember the last time I vlogged. I think I was eating my dinner. Well, I'm gonna take off my 
makeup and do my skincare and then I'm gonna tidy my room because I messed it up from filming reels. This day has been an emotional roller coaster for like no reason. It's just a regular Friday. But I'm just going through it at the moment, guys. I really am. And I don't know. I don't know what to do with myself. I just finished editing the thumbnail for my video tomorrow and I think I'm gonna call my boyfriend and then go to sleep. It's like 12 right now. Have I said that already? I don't even know. This TV is like reflecting off my forehead and just illuminating my face right now. Um, but yeah, this was a very chill vlog. I actually really enjoyed it. I might do more vlogs like this where I'm not actually doing anything. I'm just at home living my life from my flat by myself <laughs> my camera just died again i swear it's the battery at this point because i charged it all day every time i wasn't filming it was charging i'm gonna have to get a new battery it's so annoying but yeah i'm gonna sleep now i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to check out skin and me and use my code love ev so you can get your first daily dosa for 4.99 what a bargain did i say that earlier i'm very good for like repeating myself like exactly if i think something's like a good little phrase i'll just say it again and again so apologies for that if i do that um but yeah i'm gonna sleep with my buddy i'm actually so excited to like get into bed get all cozy and then sleep and yeah i think i might vlog sunday i'm seeing mia and tegan and then the week after is gonna be so fun because i have like some fun things at the beginning of the week and then i'm actually going to wales to look after katie because she's finally getting her boobs removed um she's talked about this i'm not just like revealing this to the internet like she's talked about it very openly and she wants me to vlog i think she thinks it's gonna be hilarious but i'm like are you sure like you want me to film this and she's like yeah i think it's gonna be so funny so i'm gonna vlog maybe like maybe we'll get to the day and she'll be like i hate my life right now like please do not put a camera in my face and then i won't but like as of right now she's like go ahead and vlog this experience so <laughs> i don't even know but yeah make sure to check out my instagram my tiktok because i post a lot more over there and i will see you guys in my next vlog bye <laughs>